Hey everybody, it is the Angry Honey Badger here, and it is time for another quick build. The winner from the last quick builds voting was for Udair. So we're gonna take a look at him today. If you wanna go ahead and vote for the next quick build voting, leave me a comment down below on the champion you'd like to see next, or leave some thumbs ups for some champions that others have listed. As for Udyr's abilities, all right, so things get complicated right off the bat with Udyr. We're gonna be talking about jungle Udyr first off, and second off, everybody likes to play him incredibly different, so I'm gonna go ahead and give you my recommendations. At level one, put a point into your Phoenix stance. That is my personal go-to for him. Um, it clears really, really well. That's the main reason. At level two, Tiger Stance. I like to put a point into this early. It's good to have a point into it. Helps clear, helps do all types of things. At level three, depending on ganking, but we're probably still farming, Turtle Stance. Put a point into that. Very, very good. Obviously health, mana, fun, and the shield. Level four, Bear Stance. Get the stun, get ready. You're probably gonna start ganking. Um, if not at level three, then you would probably swap those, but you want the shield for, for the ganks anyways. So that's what you do. Then we like to max out Phoenix stance first. That's personal preference. Like I said, people like to do all types of different things. Um, Phoenix is really good for clearing and it actually just brings good damage in general too in an AOE ball of nastiness. Um, we're then gonna max out probably turtle stance. Once again, the shield's very good. This is more of a tanky Udyr. So that's probably why this might look different to you if you're used to a more damage Udyr. Then we max out our bear stance uh, technically third, and then you'll have a couple extra points left over at the end of the day to put into Tiger Stance. And that is what I recommend for maxing out on tank-ish Udyr. As for the rune page, what I do here is I take attack damage marks, I take armor seals, I take magic resist glyphs, you can take these scaling if you like them that way, and then movement speed quintessences. Another type of quintessence that is good on Udyr is attack speed quintessences. You can take those as well. And for the Masteries page, it's 21-9-0, 21 in the offense, 9 in the defense, pretty standard stuff. Some people like to take the utility to get to the runic affinity. You can do that if you want to, but I like it this way. As for the items that I take when I play as Udyr, starting off, obviously Hunter's Machete, couple health pots, and the Warding Totem. My early trips back, I like to pick up the Trailblazer, helps for clearing super fast. Like I said, we're not worried about maxing uh, our, uh, our attack speed, we deal with the AoE on Phoenix, so we take the Trailblazer and Devourer enchantment. Um, Stalkers isn't terrible on him either, uh, it's a decent one. You can do that if you want to do that. And then the early phage, really helpful, and our start of our boots. The next things we like to buy is of course the Trinity Force, this is your main damage item that you will pick up. And then of course the Merc Treads seem to be a good pick because then as the game goes on and you get your core build, your core build will look a little bit like this. We have those first three items lined up and then we transition into Tank, which will revolve around the Randuin's Omen and the Spirit Visage. Both of these work really well to get him a lot of health, good resists, and the Spirit Visage teams up really well with his kit in general. And then for our final items, there's lots of choices actually for Udyr. It really depends on which way you like to go. Like I said, I like to build a little, little bit more beefy. With the procs of Triforce and just his kit, he seems to do good damage anyways, let alone you do have Devour enchantment. But as for your final item, if you're helping the team, you pick up the Locket. If you need just tons of armor, you'd pick up the Frozen Heart. The Righteous Glory can be really good for getting into fights. Lots of health and mana. Um, not bad things. Pretty good if you want to charge in. Warmogs, tons of health. Good regen. And of course, if you want to go ahead and pick up a Guardian's Angel, you can do that. These really help round things out. Um, if you're looking to play more of a damage Udyr, you're going to need to look elsewhere and pick up probably more damage, to be honest. But it's a little bit greedier, and he dies a little bit faster. I think he's good as a just beef frontline just disaster tank. So that's what the build is for Udyr. Like I said, leave me a comment on who you'd like to see in the next quick build by leaving it down below. But other than that... Good luck on the fields of justice.